Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to uh, dispel or prove a myth. Um, had a customer ask me about the old myth or rumor that he read on the internet about short slot times. And didn't quite understand what it did, but was told that it was good, it was good, it was fast, good performance, that sort of thing. So I told him, I said, here, let's do a little bit of homework. So right within my Cisco access point, I hit the help button. And here's what Cisco says, a short slot time. When you enable short slot time, only the wireless devices with clients associated to the 802.11G 2.4 gigahertz radio support slot time. Enabling short slot time increases throughput on the 802.11G radio. So a few things. Number one, obviously the client has to support it. The access point has to support it. And it only works on 2.4 gigahertz and only G. There, that pretty well spells it all out. So that being the case, I said, uh, let's try it out because his access point, such as mine, supports short slot time and so does my client and or his. So what I did was we set up just a quick iperf and we did a test with short slot time enabled and disabled. So right within my access point, you can see there it is enabled. And then we ran five tests, dropped the high, drop the low, average three, and then we disable it. Same deal. So from the iperf, basically we figured out that it does make a difference. And we had on average almost one megabit per second more throughput. So that's kind of noticeable. It's uh, very interesting. I was always on the fence if this mattered or not, and I was always led to believe that it, depends on a whole lot of other factors that we haven't quite properly tested such as load and of course interference and all that regular stuff that affects all throughput not just short slot times so it seems like it's true and it's a good thing so there you go and that's how we proved it have a good day bye for now